30 essential intermediate phrases that every professional should know. Greetings, colleagues. Are you struggling to find the right words when it comes to business communication? Do you want to take your professional English skills to the next level? Look no further. This video is packed with 30 essential intermediate business English phrases that every professional should know. Whether you're negotiating deals or making presentations, these phrases will help you communicate more effectively in the workplace. Don't miss out on this opportunity to upgrade your communication skills and advance your career. Welcome to the Rundown. I'm Timothy Barrett, and this is the For Business English Rundown. The Rundown is for people all over the world who want to improve their communication skills in English. So let's look at 30 essential intermediate business English phrases that every professional should know. One, can we schedule a meeting to discuss this further? This can be very useful. You've been talking to someone, but you need a little bit more time to make, maybe close the deal, right? To make the sale. Can we schedule a meeting to discuss this further? Two, I'd like to introduce you to our new team member or our new boss, our new secretary, our new accountant, our new whatever. Three, could you please send me the agenda for the meeting? Four, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. This can be very useful. You're meeting someone for the first time, maybe at a networking event, something like that. You have a conversation, then you kind of realize at the end of the conversation, wait, what was their name again? And it, certainly if it's the first time you're meeting them, you can certainly ask them. If you've met them a few times before, you might not want to ask. It might be embarrassing at that point. But certainly at the first meeting, it's good when you walk away to make sure you know their name. Or this may be a good excuse to exchange business cards as well. Five, let's touch base later this week. Touch base meaning to communicate with each other. Let's, let's check in or, or talk to each other, and then maybe we're going to set up something you know, in the future. Maybe a meeting, a conference, a phone call, whatever it is. Six, we need to review the budget before we proceed. In other words, I'm not sure if we have the money or I'm not sure we want to spend the money on this, but we need to review the budget before we proceed, before we go further. Seven, I'm afraid we won't be able to meet the deadline. That's never a phrase that you want to say to your client or a customer, but sometimes it is necessary. Eight, our sales figures are up compared to last quarter. So that's good news. We like that. Nine, would you like to give a brief overview of the project? An overview is the big picture. You know, what is this project about? In brief, meaning small, brevity. You know, don't spend too much time you know, giving this overview. Ten, can you provide me with an update on the status of the project? You know, what's new? What has happened since we last spoke about this project? Eleven, I need to check with my supervisor before I can approve that. So in the business world, there's some things that you can approve and some things maybe your boss needs to approve and sign off on or maybe their boss. So most people are familiar with this, but sometimes you need to make it clear, you know, who, who needs to sign off or approve on something. Twelve, we need to address the issue of communication breakdowns. Communication breakdown is when there is no communication or maybe a miscommunication. So this can be very problematic, especially between a vendor and a customer or a service provider and a client. You don't want to have communication breakdowns. Thirteen, let's try to streamline our processes to increase efficiency. So we've got a few buzzwords in here. To streamline means to make it simpler. In our processes is the process. How do we do things? What is our, our plan? In increase the efficiency, of course, every business is seeking to increase efficiency, to make it more efficient. 
so that we have to do less work or spend less money to get the same or, or even more output. 14, I'll need you to sign this contract before you proceed. So we're finished the negotiations, you know, I've helped all I can, but now if we want to continue, you need to sign the contract and then we'll continue. 15, we need to analyze the market trends to determine our next move. Analyze, analysis, analyst, you know, these are great business terms. In market trends, is, is the market, you know, whatever industry that we're in or region that we're in, is the trend upwards or downwards? Are we expanding? Are we contracting? You know, what's going on? Obviously, if we think the market is going to contract or get smaller, we're probably not going to want to build a new branch or a new factory if the market is getting smaller. 16, could you clarify what you mean by that statement? Maybe you're not sure what they meant, or maybe you didn't like what, they, what you think they meant, so you want them to clarify. 17, we'll need to submit a formal proposal for consideration. You know, maybe you've talked about something, the other side is receptive, wow, that sounds like a good idea, but we need a formal proposal. You know, let, let's get something in writing, and then we'll, you know, we'll work from there. 18, let's brainstorm some ideas to generate new leads. So brainstorming is a very important technique. It's when you're kind of thinking about things. It's a process of thinking about things in a very open-ended way and just coming up with as many ideas as you can or as many ideas as your team can. And then you'll sort through them later. You just want to collect all of those ideas at one stage and then you'll consider each of the ideas later or rank the ideas later. 19, I'll need to consult with my team before I make a decision. A lot of times when talking to someone or in a meeting, they might try to force you or encourage you at least to make a decision and you need to say, no, 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 I, I need to talk to my team, I need to talk to my supervisor, I need to consider the market trends, you know, whatever it is, before I make a decision. 20, we need to identify the root cause of the problem. So now, maybe there's a problem here, but what really caused that problem? You know, what is the root cause? Where did that problem begin? 21, could you elaborate on that point a bit more? So they said something, and it's interesting. You want to get more information about that point. You want to hear them explain that in more detail. This can be a very useful phrase. 22, we need to allocate resources more effectively. So again, some good buzzwords in here. Allocate. Allocate is where do we spend our resources? It could be time, it could be money, it could be individuals, you know, personnel on our team or machines that we have working for us. You know, where do we, where do we want them to spend their time? And resources, time, money, machines, equipment, you know, all of those things are, are important resources. And, of course, effectively. We want to work effectively. Let's arrange a conference call to discuss this further. 24. I'll need you to provide me with a breakdown of the costs. So a breakdown is an itemized list. So maybe the cost is X. It's $10,000, $100,000, whatever it is. But where does that number come from? So the breakdown is an itemized list, you know, all of the, the constituent parts, the little parts that make up that bigger cost, that bigger number. 25, we need to adopt a more proactive approach to problem solving. Proactive means we're not reactive, we're not just going to wait until the problem you know, becomes too big to ignore, we're going to go out and look for potential problems and solve them before they get too large. 26, let's explore alternative solutions to this issue. So maybe we talked about some solutions, but they're not very attractive. You know, let's not make a decision now. Let's look at some alternatives. Let's work on some alternatives, and then we'll make a decision later. 27, I'm confident we can achieve our goals if we work together. 28, 
we need to establish clear objectives for this project. What are we trying to get out of this project? What are our objectives or goals? 29, let's set up a task force to address this issue. So we have this new issue, this new problem that has come up. Let's have a task force. Maybe we need someone from IT, someone from sales, someone from marketing, you know, and then they'll, they'll work together to solve this problem, whatever this issue is. And the last one, number 30, I'll need to run this by my supervisor before I can give you an answer. These phrases cover a range of common business scenarios and can be useful for communicating effectively in an English-speaking business environment. Hope that you've enjoyed these intermediate phrases, but also check out the beginner and the advanced phrases. There might be some phrases in the beginner that, that you overlooked, and maybe there are some advanced phrases that would be useful for you. Check those videos out now. But before you go, make sure to conquer that like button and make it ours. Work hard today and enjoy tomorrow.